Hello everyone, I'm T Crow Tom, and in my last video uh, we saw how to exploit the bad USB vulnerability and how to flash a rubber duck script to a Fison microcontroller. The thing is that many of you and the bad USB users have trouble in restoring their USB flash drive into its original state. Uh, and this is because many times after a flash the drive is no longer responding to commands from the DriveCom program to get into boot mode with it. So to resolve this and get into boot mode, uh, the, hard way we, the hard way we must sort the data pins connected to the NAND controller and these pins are the second and the third pin of the upper side of the microcontroller. Uh, to do so we hold an eye for another thin metal tool uh, <clears throat> over the second and the third pins as we said and then plug it in or otherwise supply chain to the drive. After one second we remove the knife or metal tool from the pins and if the LED will turn on and stay on it indicates that we are in boot mode. So now I take a USB hub here and I put my drive without connecting it, connecting it. And as you see here I connect the second and third pin Try not to harm your device. And I push inside. So now, as you see, with connecting the two, second and third pin, I push inside the hub my USB drive and after one second of the that the LED was turned on I, <coughs> I removed the knife from the pins and now that the LED is turned on I am in boot mode now that we are in boot mode we can go to File Explorer and see our device that it is not accessible of course because we are in boot mode with drive letter E. And now we open uh, the CMD and we want to navigate to the uh, DriveCom program in the tool path, tools path here with the CMD command, CD command sorry. Okay. And now we are going to use the DriveCom program to patch the original, uh, to flash the original firmware to the uh, Fison microcontroller. So as you can see, we use the DriveCom program in the drive letter E, as we saw earlier, and the action is send firmware. And we are going to use the dump of the original firmware that we made in the earlier video with uh, the burner image BN03V104M. We hit enter and now you can see that uh, it, uh, it our device is in boot mode. Uh, the device reboots, it sends the firmware it executes and now we are ready. We can unplug our device from the USB and now that we plug it in again we can see here my Toshiba flash drive is ready as new with the original firmware running and all the free space available. So thank you for watching my videos uh, if you like, please subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a thumbs up. Of course, I'm here for you. Leave a comment in the description if you want something. Goodbye.